So today's video is a challenge video. And I went to the Amazon dumpster store and I found these. There were six of them in this bag. Cost me $3 that particular day. And the challenge would be, since all you got was the head, no glass, no bottle, to uh, find something to fit this, possibly for camping. That means it has to be tough. So I had a salt and pepper shaker. I thought, well, it's got a handle on it. That'd be kind of cute, but it's too big for it. And they had these small little, uh, they're not a canning jar because the lid does not have a seal in it. I think it says on there, not for it yet, not for, for preserving food. It's also too big. So I've got to come up with a way to make this lantern, number one, durable and useful. Come along with me, let's see what we can do. So as I'm looking at this thing, since uh, this doesn't fit any of the bottles I can find, I'm sure it'll probably fit the lamp it was meant to fit. But uh, if I had that, I'd have the rest of it. So I took this piece off, it just screws on. And I'm thinking, you know what? If I got me a big one of these mason, or this one's a ball jar, I could just drill that big a hole in the lid and then put that on the back side for a nut. That should work, right? Then I can screw it on the jar and the lamp would be coming out of the top of it. That'd be useful because it has a handle. So as you can see, I've got that marked and I'm carefully cutting it out. This is thin metal. So you can actually cut it with a blade. If you have a hole saw for your drill, that's going to catch and snag and bend up. So now that we're cutting up, come right out of there. Now, that should fit in, and we're going to use that for the nut on the bottom. Obviously, any of these uh, lamps is not meant to be uh, watertight. So if you tip this over, the oil is going to spill. So just warning you. So now that I do have it cut out, and I want this to be tight, I use some lead solder and solder this to the lid so it stays tight and doesn't move around. All right, I'll get it soldered up. Be right back with you. So I've got that all soldered on. Tightens up nicely. And it'll fit that jar perfect because I've got the handle right here. I think that'll work. So we're going to work on making something for a lens that's less fragile than one of these. That's right. We can't be using any glass other than there. And I just happen to have this big old lens. This is out of one of those old uh, projection TVs. I'll clean it up. But I'm going to have to make me a can to fit that in. That should be easy. So I just looked at this and I decided I didn't want that handle on the back side here. So I moved it about uh, 45 degrees. That way the long part of the wick will be out the front. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have us a projection lantern, just like a flashlight. So we'll get that wick started back down inside there. They didn't send very long wicks with these to start with. There we go. 
Looks like this jar is going to be just right. So what I have here is a bean can, and guess what? The lens just happens to drop right in, and the lip holds it in place. That's going to be perfect to make that bezel for the lens. And I've got the body figured out here, the body of that lantern. I've got the hole in the center. We'll go ahead and cut that out. As you see, we can go ahead and snip that right off there. I made the hole here smaller than the size of that bean can purposely so we can go ahead and bend in tabs and out tabs. We'll cut the uh, lens bezel Fit it in. Yep, it's going to work. So what we'll do is go ahead and peel that paper so we can solder it in place. And that's what's next. So as you can see, we've got it set in place. Take it out. Got the back soldered. That was easy. You know, if you don't know how to solder, it's a skill you should probably learn. That soldered together very well. I learned how to do that in, uh, I think it was sophomore year. But I've gone ahead and soldered the bezel into the base, into the body of that lantern, as you see here. Oh yeah, what have we got on for a video? Yes, it was that pie. You know, if you don't have soldering skills, you can probably use JB Weld, but make sure you get the high heat for this kind of a project, because they do have about four different types of JB Weld. And we're going to JB Weld that lens in, so we can go ahead, hold that in place. It is the high temp JB Weld. You see that's around the edge of all that, nice and neatly installed. The lens sits for there. Just have to let it dry, but it's dinner time. We'll go ahead and let that set up and be right back with it. It has a good focal point. I'll show you here. You see my fingers on the lens. That's perfect for a distance. I think it's going to be just right for the flame as well. But we've got to make a bottom. And our bottom plate, we've got it cut out here out of that scrap metal that I've had. We'll clean it up, get it ready to solder on the bottom. That hole is the size of the wick and its mechanism. All I need to do is bend down the fingers that hold the glass uh, chimney in place. You see here we've got them bent down and that hole is perfect. So let's go ahead and get it soldered on. All right, we've got it soldered on. We've got everything set in place. You see the tabs are bent up to hold that. That worked perfectly. I can't believe that I made all this stuff come together out of junk. And putting the light down inside, you see that's a perfect distance for that lens. So it looks like it fits on there nicely. The clips that would hold the glass are holding this all the way around. So I just need a top now, and I think I've found what I need for the top. It's even the right size. So we're going to take and cut around the folded edge here. And I should be able to take that, fit it right on top, because it's the same exact size. I'll show you. So I ground around the edge of this, and it pops right off. Looks like it was used. Of course, this was meant for a candle. And that's going to fit right on there. Isn't that amazing how I just made that that size? It just happens to fit perfectly. Yeah, sometimes you look out. We'll go ahead and clean it up a little bit. So I got a solder. Uh, so solder will stick to the edge. It's got paint on it. And then I'll 
solder that on top. And on to the next step. Well, after thinking about this two seconds more, I figured I better put a hinge on there. Otherwise, how am I going to be able to light that? It won't be able to light that at all. Well, I could take the whole thing off to light that wick, but that makes it easier. Now I just got to put a couple of tabs off of both sides so it keys into the body of it and stays in place. I'll take that hanger off because it won't be hanging now. It shouldn't be hanging anyway. So in making this video this week, I was checking the YouTube and Waypoint Survival showed a This is a what he called a detective's lantern. It looks pretty similar, doesn't it? It has a slide though that slides in front of that lens. But it gave me an idea on how to put a handle on the back to maybe help uh, support the weight, move the weight a little, a little bit to the back. Obviously, there's not the uh, jar on the bottom on his particular one. But I don't want to be a copycat. But it was uh, funny that uh, somebody showed about the same thing I'm making about a week before. So we're going to continue on with this. I've got my metal I've got to bend up. I've got my bender. That's what this ugly thing is. Made for bending sheet metal. It's old, but it still works. I'll show you. I have a deep bend section and a shallow bend section and I'm just trying to determine whether that's going to be deep enough. We'll go ahead and let's see, bend it back. Let's see how that works. Turn that around. Bend that one back as well. And then we'll come in with the narrow one and bend it forward. It'll do it. There you go. We'll get this side and I'll show you how to attach that. So, a quick update. I put the back on. That's a heat shield. Gives a little bit more weight to the back. I've got the handle to put on yet. I've got the hinge on. So it opens up. And now I've got to crimp these on after I smash that that'll keep that lined up when it closes that's the update but I got a couple more things I got to do to this I believe this paint was made for a tea candle I don't know how well it'll hold up when you put in uh, kerosene but we'll have to try it out well, there you go. Only thing we can do now, fill it up with some uh, kerosene and try it out tonight. It's going to be dark, but putting this uh, heat shield and handle on the back counterbalanced that lens enough that it isn't so tippy. Because if I tip that at all this way, it would just fallen over. I don't have any fluid in there yet, so let me get some uh, kerosene out. And we'll light this up, see, see what it looks like in the day even. So when you get the kerosene, you get the industrial size, don't you? Let me get that jar filled up, and we'll test this. So if you can get people together of like mind, you can circle the wagons. And that's what we've done here. And it's a perfect place to test the lantern because it's going to get dark tonight. But here it is all together. Like I say, this is a heat shield. It helps counterbalance that heavy front lens. And that's how we're going to light it, right down in there. 
We'll get that wick up a little bit. And we'll give it a test burn. Yeah, it looks like about the right setting. We definitely have light out the front. I'm sure that's not very bright, but what do you expect? We'll see what it does tonight when it gets dark. But in the meantime, we'll lower that down, blow it out. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna like it. Well, there it is. And adjusting that flame up and down. I'll show you here. So adjusting that wick up and down. You see you can get a little bit more light as long as you don't get smoke out of there. Right there we're getting smoke. So we got to drop that down a little bit. So from there to there. So yeah, it starts smoking if I go too bright. So in the morning we'll check, see how much fuel we have left. We're going to let that run all night. I'm sure that paint's going to burn off. But that's what it's all about. Testing phase. <laughs> 